Let's click payable vision operation UAC. Payables vision, payable wish, vision operations UAC. USA. Yes. Okay. So let's open invoice entry. Okay. Let's start with invoice. Okay. So, clicking invoices batches. Invoice also has to be go in batches. Uh, it's it depends upon the invoices how much with the quantity we are going to create. Yeah, normally see in the office uh, when we used to work, whatever invoices we do it may we'll enter it manually only. Yeah, yeah. Uh, say for example, if you have a bulk of 50 invoices for the day. Uh, mm. It will be easy for you to create a batch with your name and date uh, and your company or your department so that it will be easy to uh, record every Upload. batch. Yes, yes. So now you can able to see the top list, right? So whatever the yeah, invoice entry. Yeah, the the navigation is invoice payable payables vision operations USA then invoice entry. Next, what is what I have to click? So here invoice entry. Invoice, invoice entry. Invoice batch. Okay. Let's double click it. Invoice. We get invoice. Invoices. I'm expanding the screen. Now it, it is in screen. Are you able to see voice work branch payable vision? No, I, I can see, see the window, but uh, the things I cannot read the menus and all these things. Okay, now I click the invoice window. Now yeah. the invoice work branch is open. Okay, here only we yeah. create voices. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if in, in AP, we have two different teams. The one person will do end to end. The one will classify the invoices. Come again. The one who will uh, receive the invoices, uh, supplier invoices, will classify the invoices. Yes. In classification. Yeah. Okay. So, what kind of expenses it is? Whether it is a corporate expenses or a trade expenses. Okay. So, in trade also, there is a lot yes. of uh, suppliers are there. So, we will segregate it. Yes. Okay. Whether if it is a, a belongs to network provider or a water supplier, electricity, or uh, any transport related or product or service. service. Example. Exa exactly. So like that, you need to segregate. It. That is called uh, classification. Mm -hmm. Classifying invoices. So once it is classified, okay. so you have to enter the invoice <laughs> into system. Yeah. Okay. Create one batch under your name. And open this invoice workbench. Okay, so here, if you see the operation unit is vision operation. So operating unit always yes, same. Yes. There is no changes in your operation unit, unless otherwise okay. you have multiple operating units. So customer yes. payer ID. So every cust for every customers there will be a tax payer ID will be there. Yes. Okay, so if if you if in India if you see. Some suppliers will have 7.5 percent of tax. Very yeah. right. Some will have 16 percent. Some will have 8 percent. Some will have 23 percent. Okay. So it yes. depends the service they provided, providing to us. So that uh, registration number is already predefined here. So these and all your sample yeah. uh, uh, registration number, tax registration. Yes. Number. VAT number, TIN number, kind of thing, right? Kind of thing, yes. Yeah. So based on the invoice, you can select the taxpayer ID. And uh, okay. invoice type, see, uh, these are the 
type so if you are receiving a tax invoice only for particular tax you can select withholding tax whd tax if you are receiving the invoice okay. for uh, transportation you can select transportation invoices so if any retainage release yeah. or prepayment if you are uh, paying before starting the service to some supplier special suppliers you can select prepayment yes yes so in payment in an ap there is two type of payment is there one is actual payment another one is prepayment so see yes. most of the main suppliers will not accept the payment uh, post uh, services so we need to pay them in advance so for that we have yes a rule called prepayment so in advance we will pay prepayment on the monthly expenses like 1 1 uh, lakh or 2 lakhs in advance i will pay once the invoice is received from them we will apply and adjust it Oh, okay. Okay. Say for example. Uh, simple logic, like advance cut. Yeah, advance. Advance as if you are given advance. Yeah. Uh, it, it it is kind of advance, but we will say it as prepayment because uh, say uh, there are giving a uh, huge kind of services like uh, sending train or sending a bulk of uh, lorry transport like ten lorries per day. so the cost will be like yes. per it will be like 2 lakhs or 3 lakhs so that is more than uh, uh, what you are going to do so uh, always keep them some balance to utilize the invoice creditor so we'll pay in advance like 1 lakh 2 lakh or 5 lakhs to them so once uh, the services is received they will send the invoices once the invoice is received you can uh, apply in the prepayment and clear the payment adjust accordingly apply adjust accordingly yes So that is called prepayment. So expense report, debit memo, credit memo, standard invoice. So usually most of the invoices comes under standard invoices. If you are uh, issuing any credit note or credit memo, you select credit memo. This purchase returns. Right? Yes. So for purchase return or uh, sales return, you can select credit memo. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, select standard invoice. Yes. So P1. Now, for example, if you receive some invoices for the products, this is the expenses which we are discussing now. For example, yes. if we we if we get invoice for the products, hmm. so we have to enter accordingly the line wise product, right? Yeah, yeah. If you are uh, receiving invoice for the product you purchased, right? Because products means we are we are maintaining inventory also. Ah, that is fixed asset. Uh, in fixed asset register, you can uh, uh, detail the product. Okay, say for example, if I have purchased five laptop or uh, five cotton boxes or fifty uh, cotton boxes for something, that you can enter. Uh, sorry, mm-hmm. not cotton boxes, uh, like furnitures or laptop or uh, kind of assets that you can maintain in assets. Okay. Okay. That, uh, it's so up to for you. For example, uh, for if you are doing, for example, if you are doing trading, we are buying from, we are getting from somewhere, and we are selling to someone. Okay. So, for that you need to create a one uh, purchase order in bulk in your own, and then you have to create this. Because uh, if you are going okay. to purchase and sell, so bo- two different invoices is there. So that uh, will be in you have to you have to handle it in different way. So either mm-hmm. netting or uh, by intercompany invoices, you need to first uh, knock off the balance, and you have to say if you are receiving the profit, right? End of the day, you are going to be receivable only. Okay. So that will you will record it in your receivable books. Okay. Say for example, if you are uh, buying ten cans and you are going to sell it for fifteen. Uh, Dollars or fifteen AED, then you are going yes. to receive the money. Receive the money from your customers, so Customer. that you will re- record it in your receivables book. So for that you have a particular account uh, like uh, trade, trade uh, payable account, trade receivables. So there you can maintain okay. that it's purchased and the uh, sales. So net you can see the your uh, profit. That will uh, okay. be a separate uh, activity. So how you are going to handle it? That's it. That's the matter. Okay. So for every purchase, we have a PO number. So yes, when you have a PO number, you can enter here. 
or you can give some PV number. So for this PO number, the already defined expenses is the trading partner office supplies. Supplier number 1008. So if if I am selecting a supplier, so uh, uh, as we saw in GL, we have a supplier number will be there. So yes. First, you need to create a suppliers in your uh, payable book. That is called vendor management. Yes. Okay. So in vendor management, you need to create all your suppliers. Walmart or Adidas or Coca-Cola or Lays, whatever your suppliers, you create a supplier expenses with number. Supplier number will be created. So based on the trading yes. partner, the supplier number will be there. And supplier side, office supplies or what they are supplying. So invoice date is missing. Noise date is always must. Noise date is always must. Date of receiving or invoice date? As per invoice, uh, you have to select. Okay. okay. So here it is telling like that the date you are entered is not in an opening accounting period. So AP is not opened for this 2024. So, you need to select the uh, open period of uh, invested. Mm -hmm. Say, for example, before uh, we are entering this current period, you need to open the AP books. So, invoice number 12345. So, invoice currency USD. Invoice amount, uh, let's put 1000. So GL date, <coughs> so if you are uh, doing the activity for January month, you have to select January 31st or uh, the particular date you are booking. Yes, that period. Yes, so GL date will be the last date of the previous month. Month. So payment rate data. So this is this will help you to calculate the exchange rate. 15 Feb 2024 payment rate. Mm -hmm. So here the tax amount will be calculated based on the definition. Uh, what percentage? We what are is going. defined by the? Uh, yeah, what we defined for the supplier. Yes. Payment rate type. So this and all uh, already hide by the system. Okay, not. Uh, Required to use. Okay, uh, it is not uh, necessary to use this uh, rate, uh, payment rate type, payment rate everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so main area is invoice amount, tax amount, invoice date, GL date. Okay, so based on this, you can identify the invoice, invoice date and GL date. And vendor ID. Vendor ID. <coughs> vendor number. So supplier number. Yeah. Supplier partner code, uh, invoice number, PO number, this and all a yeah, major uh, contribution uh, field here. Yes. Okay, so description, uh, uh, let's put test or you can put whatever you want. Uh, office supplies, water, credited invoice. If any credit invoice open uh, against this vendor that you can, if you want to use, you can select this or else you can uh, leave it as it is. So if you are uh, doing project management, you can uh, update your uh, project number or project reference number if you have anything. Yes. You ask it for project also, right? So if you have a project, yes. if you are uh, doing a project uh, management also along with financial module, you can utilize yeah. this field. Mm -hmm. So expenditure item, expenditure type, expenditure organization, this and all already uh, hidden, hidden by the system. So not required to update. If you want more details to be updated uh, for your payment, then you can use this. That for okay. the for that uh, you need to enable it. Now it is disabled. Okay, not not require yeah. this building. 
yeah mostly this one vendor things and the payments and the narrations uh, that is required mostly but yes. the other term, we don't uh, we don't enter the term date is very important that how, how many days you are going to pay or uh, how many days the vendor is provided your credit period payment term payment term yes for payment term plus 30 days or plus 45 or plus 60 that you need to select here. So see, the it is as per the as per the yeah, vendor. This is, uh, this is predefined. Uh, like while implementation, we will define this one week supplier. Uh, what, uh, exactly. Content. Starting from zero, ten, twenty, two to the uh, two, two percentage ten. A lot of uh, payment terms are already defined. Okay. Yes. So this, uh, when when you create a new vendor, you can uh, create that. Yes. So the payment, the payment is again very important. That whether you are going to issue a check or electronic or a wire, wire payment or electronic payment or check that you need to. See, in this one, I have a question. We book invoice, okay? We'll mm -hmm. do payment at the due date, right? Now, but we have to clarify, classify now how we are going to pay. Yes, you need to classify because. Uh, Anyway, if you are going to pay next month also, you have a contract between the supplier, right? Or on what yes. basis you are going to transfer the money? Whether you are accepting wire transfer yeah. or check or electronic, that uh, normally we'll do. Sometimes we'll give check. Sometimes uh, online transfer. Some line. Sometimes wire. Sometimes TT. Depends. Every time it changes, right? Scenario. So it doesn't that, affect, right? Correct. Then uh, you need to select accordingly, or you can uh, select when you. It's not necessary to do the same method. Okay, this is for accounting. Mm -hmm. No, not here. You are not going to make a actual payment. This is for accounting yeah. purpose. That this payment accounting. is done. Uh, so normally we can make it as a check payment. Normal, normally. Ah, uh, usually payment. yes. So you 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 agree with yourself that uh, whatever I can pay, but I will select check. Basically, I will I will select check, but I will pay wire payment or uh, uh, whatever. Transfer, yes, whatever it is. So maybe. So while making the. While making the payment, we can make the reference numbers and whatever how we are paying, we'll do accordingly. Yes, correct. Okay. So mostly, if you are select electronic, I think it will be best because now we are doing net transfer. So yes, this wire or uh, if you are transferring money to via uh, GPA or payment, Paytm, whatever it is, so electronic will be a common reference. Common reference. Okay. So pay group. So see again, this is just to describe the payment only. So DTA, uh, ECS check or EDI, on what basis mm -hmm. employee pay group or a pay group on what basis we are going to pay that one. Yes. Payment to local supplier or a payment mm -hmm. to a foreign current foreign company or it's a domestic employee standard utility mm -hmm. payment so which kind of payment uh, belongs to this uh, vendor uh, this payment that you can uh, explain through this pay group so if okay. it is a corporate expenses like uh, local water utilities or uh, 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 what i can say water or furniture uh, uh, any fittings like that will be under utilities you can select utilities mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So taxation country, whether it is U.S. or uh, United, uh, uh, what is it, Arab country or uh, U.K. Yeah. or India, that you can select the taxation country. But it is necessary to select the taxation country. Mm -hmm. And business category, fiscal classification, related invoices, this and all, not required. Invoice subtype and all, not required. Yeah. Want to elaborate your invoice much more, then you can update, or else you can. Yes. So this one is again required that uh, through which bank you are going to remit the payment to your supplier. Yeah. Okay. So you need to define it. So define uh, uh, when you start the company. When you, the company, you have to define and then uh, under name, under address, those things and all. One time you need to see. Okay. So this is remit to bank account number. So multiple bank accounts will be there. So accordingly, what you are going to pay, say for example, if it is a foreign invoice, foreign payment or local payment, accordingly you can select the bank. Yes.
so don't forget to save the transaction once you done click the yeah. save this yellow color uh, disk icon is there now yes click save that is save so okay. you can save your first uh, payment details so invoice uh, the first invoice is created okay yeah. so second i am again creating the registration number instead of standard we'll select credit memo okay we saw one invoice now we'll see one credit memo so we have to save line wise right yes one by one because if you are uh, internet is poor or if your connection disconnected or your server slow then uh, whatever you updated will be lost so always line by line you save okay. so lot of pivo numbers are already there so uh, defined in the system so if you want to define separately you can create and try or else you select it from here so supplier is ge general electric so supplier yeah. this is very easy for us that uh, already trading partner number site everything is predefined so in my state again i am giving 15 for 2023 okay so there is a rule set by the system here okay so if it is more than 30 days or more than 60 days or more than more than 90 days invoice comes means it will uh, throw the pop up to you to double check that's the pop up uh, thrown here you saw the pop up that it is more than uh, one year old invoice okay so see in oracle you can set uh, whatever the criteria you want so somewhere if you are uh, doing a error or if you are uh, not matching it properly you can set a rule so based on the rule it will throw a error and uh, the combination error or it will not allow you to process the payment or invoice so accordingly you can uh, clear the error so you can ignore it and you can properly create it next time the voice is break Hello, your voice is breaking. Now? No, it's Hello. Fine. Okay. So what I'm saying yeah, is, uh, yeah. Okay. So while you are uh, setting up a new operation unit, hello? you can you hello. My sir, uh, it is clear. Uh, so for me, I can able to hear you properly. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Am I audible? Your voice is breaking. So much disturbance. Sometimes it's like kind of mute, and sometimes it is coming and going. No, no. I just muted and unmuted now. Uh. Yeah. How is the voice now? Not now. It's okay. Okay. So what I what I try to say is, you can set the rule if you want to set any rules in between the creation. Okay. If you want to check any invoice date, okay. whether it is older than sixty days, ninety days, or a year, you can set a rule so that it will help you to avoid any unnecessary issues in your company. Okay. So now we are creating a credit memo. Yeah.
Hello. Hello. Yeah. Can you speak a bit louder? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, it's fine. It's better now. Okay. So I just gave the description like return of product. Okay. So same like uh, terms uh, when you are going to clear this credit invoice or whether you are going to adjust with any invoices that you can put it in your reference and uh, term date accordingly you can select payment term how you are going to return this credit memo either check or electronic pay yes. group again standard or whatever you want you can select from here yes Okay, since it is a credit memo, there is no bank account uh, defined for this. Yes. No issues. Save the credit memo. Okay. Yes. So, let me explain few important things in uh, AP. Okay. So, AP okay. payable, uh, we are going to pay to your suppliers outside the okay. company. Okay. So, you need to set yes. a approver. Okay, so uh, the yes. anyone can create an invoice. So to approve this invoice for payment, that one in the head of accounts will do the approval. So uh, it depends on yes. the company size. It will vary like one approver, two approver, three approver, up to four levels. Okay. So say for example, okay. it's, uh, if the invoice is invoice this level work, is. This workflow, right? Yes. You mean the workflow, right? Yeah, workflow. Yes. Yes. So in view, invoice view approval, still you can see that what how many approvals you defined. Mm -hmm. So for this there is no approval uh, defined. So if you are uh, uh, defined, once the approval is uh, defined, see uh, approval required. Okay. So you have to initiate approval. I will let you know how to uh, uh, initiate the approval. So once you initiate the approval, it will yes. go to the approver queue. So approver will go and approve the invoice. Once the first level approver approved, it will go to second level, and up to third level it will go. Yes. So you need to define like a kind of invoices. How much, how much the invoice level can go to approver? Like uh, zero to fifty thousand, fifty thousand to one lakh, one lakh to two thousand. Like that you need to define in the system. Yes. So once you approver approved, you can see here invoice. View invoice approval history. So it will show you whatever the uh, approver approved or it is in which uh, stage Pending. it is. Okay, this is the overview of your invoice. Yeah. So it's approval required, status not validated, accounting unprocessed. Okay, it is not yet accounted, not yet paid, not validated, not uh, approved. Yes, sir, and sir. Unless and until it is approved, that it will not show in the supplier ledger, also, right? Yes. Okay. If it means financial effect will not be there on that. Yeah, not, you just created a draft invoice. That's it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, now let's see. See, this is a general column. Okay. In in down to that, you can see the general items, items, withholding tax, total amount of the invoice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything you can see here. Yes. Okay. So for the first invoice, I click all distribution. Okay. See the line item is there. See, yes. uh, I created only one line item and amount you can update. It, that should match with your uh, top amount. Okay. In the top, I updated thousand. So here also you have to update thousand. The amount should match with your uh, distribution. It should not yes. differ. Distribution account, you can select your expense account. Mm -hmm. Let's select miscellaneous. 
So miscellaneous account distribution account selected. Description water. Ship to whom address. GL date is defined already. Thirty first January twenty twenty three. PO number already defined, so everything yeah. already copied from there. So this is how you can yeah. segregate the line distribution. So if you want to enter two different lines under one invoice, so you you asked for uh, yeah. multiple products. Like if I I, I have five units of product uh, under one invoice, how to create it? Yes, yeah. I I'll show you one example. This is I created for five. Okay. Lot of lot of uh, items are there for you to uh, verify. Okay, in the screen. So this and all not required. Okay. So simply you can uh, hide this and all in your selection and uh, ignore it because it is having too much of information that will not required yes. uh, yes. for a user. In day to day. Yes. For day to day transaction. is asking to match the invoice with the PO number but uh, unfortunately we doesn't have much in
Yeah. Okay. So I am creating one more invoice. Okay, to explain you much better, that is showing some error. See here, I created the total amount of the invoice for thousand. Okay. Yes. The same way what I created last time, the same way I created one more invoice with the value of thousand USD. So now we are having uh, three different product line, three different uh, line items. So first line I selected five hundred with miscellaneous account. So second one I will select, I will update for two fifty. Okay. So here you can select the distribution account uh, according to the expenses based on the invoice. Mm -hmm. So line by line, you can change the distribution account. So third item for balance two fifty. Yes. So again, for this, I will select the miscellaneous. So my total invoice now amount is now matched. So here the line description no. lines also total equal to thousand, and the outside my total amount is thousand. So this okay. should be matched. Here also you can click and create one by one. Okay, item number one, two, three like that amount. Yes. So the main thing is the distribution list and your total invoice amount in the outside that should be matched. Matched. <laughs> so you here you can update your asset book or description, account details, GL date, anything before uh, approving the invoice. You can change uh, whatever you want. So now the line items are uh, described here, so everything is done. So you can see you uh, here the calculate tax is there, now. Yeah. So if you click this one, it will calculate the tax for the particular supplier. Okay. okay. So as I said, it, it, it may be four percent or eight percent or sixteen percent, whatever you defined in the system that will be calculated here. Yeah. Okay. So for all the three line items. Three uh, three different tax lines are created. So once I click the calculate tax, you can see these three lines. Yes. Are you able to see the tax lines? Yeah, I can see the tax, but that is predefined, right? That doesn't make any mistakes. We don't need to do it manually. How much tax? That is predefined. So to calculate the tax, yeah. you click calculate tax. Once you finalize your line items. Okay. okay. So this is a shortcut. The action will uh, help you to validate your invoice, initiate approval. If you want to hold the invoice, uh, apply prepayment, apply invoice, that you can make it here. Okay. So let's validate the invoice, related invoice. Okay. This will help you to validate your invoice. See again the status showing it's revalidation. Yeah. Again, one more thing is there: the invoice amount and uh, uh, tax amount. See, total invoice now comes to one zero six nine. For the yes. <laughs> invoice amount thousand, the tax is six nine. So if some supplier yes. will include it in your uh, invoice, correct? Yeah. On why it is included in your invoice. So accordingly, you need to enter the amount that you need to work in your Excel or somewhere and uh, do do it here. Okay. Yes. It should not be excess than invoice. So you need to. You, it, it depends on your uh, company that it, it is uh, including invoice or you are going to exclude it. So how you are going to pay your local tax authority that you need to dis, uh, define uh, yes. before you starting the service. Yes. So you, again, here you can see your lines. Here you can see the hold item. Who is updating this yes. line? Whether it is hold or released, like that the payment details. So view payment mm -hmm. if it's applied. No, we are not it applied. Schedule payment, so it is in priority of 99. Check method, it is default for the trading supplier number one. It already defined uh, like payment method is check, so that's why it picked yes, up a uh, check. So this is for prepayment. So we are not at uh, created any prepayment. So if you are creating a prepayment, then uh, you can see here. 
the same way you can uh, create a prepayment okay instead of selecting a type standard you can click prepayment okay that's a okay. thing only going to change this you can see here the people so as of now we are not at upgrade anything that's why there is no distribution so one prepayment is created one actual payment created one credit memo is created okay so let's see so here uh, you can able to see right status is needs revalidation and approval required click view request submit a new request okay invoice percentage click invoice validation click okay operating yes. unit vision you can select all so whatever the invoices you created till now that will be validated okay hello yes i am with you so click okay then submit so whatever the invoices you created till now that is validated so validation is must after creating the invoices invoices okay submit another request once it is validated click initiate approval initiate approval You don't need to give any parameter. If you want to select particular supplier, that you can select particular supplier alone and submit. <coughs> submit another request for the initiate validation. Initiate uh, approval. First initiate approval. Uh, initiate first invoice validation. Second initiate yeah. approval. Approval. So the validated invoices will go to the approval queue. Yes. Go to find and see that both are completed. Now you can see for this approval is already. The approval is not defined, so you need to define approval to see this. You invoice over here. You can see the invoice. Still, it is need evaluation. Sometimes it is called a tick times. So for some reason, something uh, that should be updated uh, before you are calculating the validation. So this status should be in uh, validated. Okay, this is uh, still in need revalidation. 
you do the validation once again if you are uh, updating anything so it will goes to validate yeah so here it showing like approval required once you are done the initiate approval it will goes to approval queue so invoice pending approval pending that like that the status will change yes So this is how we create AP invoice, AP credit note, and prepayment. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's see how to do a payment. So if you want to quickly create a batch. Quickly create five invoices. You can use uh, quick invoices to process. So this is one of the simplest way to create uh, some small kind Image. of invoices. Invoice payment. The same way. Whatever we did, the same way we are going to create invoice here. Nothing. Instead of creating in a separate uh, invoices, you can create in a batch. I just clicked invoice summary. View invoice summary. Okay. Yes. You want to see the invoices which is booked for a particular supplier. Adidas. Or yes. So you can click that uh, supplier number. So for that supplier, there will be multiple sites will be there. So for which site you need to see that you need to select. So this is the record field: supplier name, supplier number, and supplier site. Okay, just yes. click. So these are all the invoices created for the particular supplier. Particular supplier, yes. So you can analyze. Say for example, from the start of the business to till date, you created 25 invoices or 30 invoices. Whatever the invoice you need to review, you can review. See some old invoices are already validated for the yes. term approval not required. So you can see the same way it is created a line. There is nothing in old payment. Uh, it is not at applied scheduled payment. So once it is got validated, now the status will be like this. So this is how you can see the invoice summary. Same way mm -hmm. payment summary. So whatever the payment you did, that you can select the number and you can see. So if we can see all the payments uh, processed in this particular period, right? Exactly. Yes. Okay. So I think there is nothing is created. So let's see anything. Is no, in the life so we can find so many payments every month. There is so many payments. So if you want to analyze and import that in Excel and try to, we can do that, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So you know any key numbers like with the data or with invoice number or with pay ID that you can update that and you can. Let's see. Let's create one payment and we'll see. Okay. So the same way, if you update any data like date or a supplier ID, you can create. You can see the payment. 
Yeah. The place. Uh, okay, this is the kind of setup. Okay, how to create a supplier? Yeah. Okay, so clicking that, it will not open a Java web form. It will be open in the same web page itself. So if you mm -hmm. click create supplier, whatever the data I want to give, you can give and create a new supplier. Okay. Okay, if you want to see the supplier in detail, like uh, mm -hmm. while creating the invoice, it is already defined. Okay, what uh, we selected the Scott is already defined. So if you want to see whatever the definition you provided or what how it is created, then you can enter here and check. Part of suppliers is already there. The central supplier already created in the system. Okay, this is the kind of setup. Okay, if you check, you can check and close. Don't update anything. As a user, I'm saying. Okay. okay. okay as yeah. a user, you can check what is whether the supplier is created or not. How the supplier is created? Okay. What is the supplier name exactly? What is the parent supplier mm -hmm. name? What is tax ID, tax registration number, tens number, whatever it is there that you can check here. If you want yeah. to update anything, that if you are a valid valid, a valid user to update anything, then go to update. And you can update the data accordingly. Yes. So for the particular supplier, the location is there. Ship to location, build to location, ships via UPS or what what kind of uh, shipping shipment we are doing, payment yes. method receipt or what it is. So already it is all updated by the setup guy. Okay. So you need to touch. If you are a setup guy, you can uh, understand this and you can change it accordingly. So whatever the requirement you are receiving. The shipment location is going to change from uh, Seattle to Chicago or uh, Seattle to New York. If you are going to yeah. check, they were going to change, then you know you need to receive your proper documents and approval from uh, record department. Whether it is a sales yeah. department or your force approval, everything is required. Once everything is received, then you can go and change the ship to location. Like that, if you are going to change the tax or freight terms, whatever it is. Yeah. Payment terms also we will change sometimes. Lot of things we, we so can. Whatever it is you want to change that you can use this. So here a uh, lot of details is there. Okay, this and all kind of setup. If you if you yeah. want to set up, if you want to know about setup, then we'll see that. Okay. So see. Supplier, why you are having this access is to check the supplier alone. Most of the users will not have the update option. Okay. Yes. That is for setup people. So one who is consulting for you from Oracle, that that guys will do this. So for you, the yes. view option is enough. So this will help you to see your end-to-end -end supplier data. Yeah. So this is the icon. Okay. Instead of Seeing the supplier, you click view supplier and uh, check. So this will not allow you to edit anything. Mm -hmm. If you want to define any report or if you want to see any expense report, this expense report uh, tab will help you to download the reports. Expense report tab? Huh? Uh, expense report, whatever the expenses we do. Checking <laughs> employee expenses. Okay, payroll expenses. Uh, payroll expenses.
ஃபைவ் அண்ட் எக்ஸப்ஷனல் கமெண்ட் இஃப் வாண்ட் டு கிவ் எனிதிங் யூ ஆர் வெரி ஃபைவ் So this expense report all it will look it will pull all expenses of the period or particular supplier or the particular employee account okay you if employee or account anything it might be anything we can yes you can update here yes so this will uh, help you to pull the report to verify the expenses so all the invoice related details we saw today okay so how to create the memo how to create the memo and how to see the invoices which is already created how to check the existing supplier these and all we covered today okay still how to create a payment how to make a payment okay yeah Uh, how it will uh, impact your books so how to yes. see the reports supplier reports how to do as uh, the, how the uh, we need to see how the mapping how it will help the gl right that means yes so that and all we see in uh, next part okay no so, tomorrow what time will be your free tomorrow today because uh, due to some issues i went outside out of the station so okay. i came le- so tomorrow i think will be afternoon you are free or when you are free that accordingly will ah uh, yeah if you if tomorrow is sunday no so if you start early that will be better so we can start uh, as much early possible yeah maybe like uh, because tomorrow sunday will anyway will not take up early okay. yeah, yeah. so maybe early and like 11 or 12 yeah uh, that will be yeah. fine that is better so okay, after so 11 uh, or maybe 12 yeah, afternoon only 11 so you let me yeah. know after 11 what is the frequent uh, free time for you timing yes accordingly we'll start because maybe i'll i'll travel somewhere in the night today so tomorrow morning i will reach there so okay. maybe once i will go i will take some rest then by 12 i will be fresh again okay okay oh, so okay so if you are okay then we'll start by 12 sure no issues no issues okay so okay. I, i i think you need to speak with suresh so i say mm-hmm. uh, he said uh, he will uh, discuss with you tomorrow so you can co- uh, call him after this I'll, call i'll call him tomorrow after bhavan sir reach there i'll call him tomorrow okay just try to recall it because uh, i don't want you overloaded with all so I stop here to recall it yeah. what we did and uh, see the video and if yes. you have any doubt take a notes we'll see in the first yeah. end So whatever the doubts you sure no issues no issues so the main thing is you need to work out so that it will be helpful for you so whatever i yes. explain so you need to do yeah uh, no the, what i tried yesterday all night till 2 3 hours i'll try to create legal entity with different name so because the problem i cannot connect to this my server from here from windows and in the server internet is not working so i cannot connect with you to give you some access on team viewer or somewhere so if there is to just create one legal entity for me but i don't know maybe i'll try to buy one lan cable tomorrow i'll try to connect with router hopefully if it works in the server that is the only issue left with you check it with your uh, software provider whether any software yeah. issue or lan issue if you uh, have if clear that then it will be useful for you to connect and uh, Yeah, even if I have uh, like that one, I can connect in front of you and do some entry or something. If there is anything, you can correct at the same time. It will be very easy. Yes. yes. So tomorrow I'll fix it. Don't worry, inshallah. I will fix it by tomorrow. Also. Sure, 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 sure. So this is the cap. The, this cap icon you can see, right? Cap icon. Yes. 
yeah. this is switch responsibility so from ap to gl or ap to vr or uh, set ah. wherever you want you can, can change here yeah. okay 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 so just i show you the general ledger part okay just if you do me one favor if you have any kind of navigation chart or something for all this gl ap ar and all this that will be very useful, easy for me like uh, we, like already available in the excel yesterday which i shared you check the only link. that is for gl i think gl you are asking for ap right yeah ap or in that link you can type and you can search it is available already Okay, I'll check that also. Today I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you the screenshot. No problem. Okay, fine. No problem. Mm -hmm. I'll try and I'll if I get it, I will let you know. If I don't get it, also I'll let you. Know. Okay. Uh, let me know. We'll see. Yeah, fine. No issues. No okay. issues. Thank okay. you for your time. Good night. Have a nice day. Good night. Okay. Bye. See you. Bye. See. You.